a lady from the interesting English town of St. Asif has said that she is being threatened by a sinister goat, driving her to offer up and escape the family home. Vanessa Mitchell says that the cabin, otherwise called the Cage Dash has a dim and aggravating past. It was a previous medieval jail where ladies who were blamed for performing witchcraft amid England's oppression in the 16th century were sent to be executed. Before she offers her home, Mitchell is opening it up for individuals to visit, so they can get an opportunity to witness the numerous spooky nebulous visions others have announced. On her Facebook page, Vanessa Mitchell says the home will be open until the finish of April. The confine is accessible for examinations from this end of the week till end of April, please PM me coordinate for accessible dates or appointments £45 per head from 7pm till 2am. RT.com reports. On her site, Mitchell says she has seen various apparition-like figures at the property since she initially moved and finished 10 years back. In any case, the presence of a spooky goat has demonstrated the last bit of trouble that will be tolerated and Mitchell isn't goofing off about offering up. CCTV cameras at the property as of late recorded what Mitchell depicts as the spitting picture of an evil villain. I generally knew there was something extremely awful there. Not simply apparitions however something dull and unnatural. I could feel it, she posted on Facebook. Mitchell likewise says she was pushed over and smacked on the behind while alone at the property. On another event I was pushed when I was remaining in the best corridor, different circumstances I would stay there and witness objects swizz over the room, she composed on the web. Mitchell and the house have been highlighted in the media previously. Talking on ITV's This Morning in 2012, Mitchell said she purchased the property since she adored it and its history. The thought it could likewise be home to some horrible visitors was very of the interest, I figured it would be spooky. I didn't think it was as awful as it might have been. Things would fly over the room, Mitchell said. I saw three phantoms. Two men and a lady. As per the sun, her spooky housemates drove her to move out of the cage in 2012. Notwithstanding, being screwed over thanks to a home loan on the two-bed bungalow and in an edgy offer to make a decent living, she opened it to phantom visits. A Sun journalist remained in the house soon after Mitchell moved out and detailed hearing scratching behind the divider. Mitchell and the cage likewise highlighted in a short narrative, North London Paranormal Investigations, in which she says she saw a man remaining on the highest point of the stair.